بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو لیکچر اف فار دا سبجیکٹ وی ار اسٹڈینگ فار ڈی ایل ڈی اینڈ دا لائک اور پریویس ٹاپک دا ٹاپک وی ہیو چوزن ٹو ڈسکس ٹوڈے از آلسو ویری امپورٹنٹ سو اف وی گو بیک ان اے ہسٹری وین کمپیوٹرز ور انوینٹیڈ وین پیپل اسٹارٹیڈ ورکنگ آن ڈیجیٹل آئٹمز آن ڈیجیٹل نمبرز بائنری نمبرز and even uh, except binary numbers anything we need what is our basic necessity is to store our data so what if we have to wake up early in the morning every day and write the same thing again and again it is very hectic okay so we need something to save our data and uh, in order uh, for us to proceed on that data on the next day when we come to office so we don't have to write in the same thing again and again so for this purpose registers were uh, the concept of register was introduced it was just like the register you use at your home for your work what does that registers do that register basically store the data you write the data on the pages and it stores the data okay so next time you want to review the data next time you want to study for your exam so you can have access to that data to uh, the thing which you have stored in the register so now uh, with the, without any further ado let's jump into our topic and see what we have to study today <clears throat> so today we are studying about as i have told you before registers and uh, what is the basic purpose of your register either the register you use in your computer and your mobile phone in your daily life in your school notebooks like that they are also type of registers so the basic purpose of register is this stores it stores the data okay so how the data is stored what is the procedure through which the data is stored into into the registers there are cells okay uh, which we call flip flops one cell is uh, equal to one flip flop and one uh, one cell can store only one uh, type of data digital or binary data either it can be one or it can store zero it cannot store both 1 and 0 at the same time each cell contains only one state which is 1 or 0 okay so a register is a group of the cells like this let's say these are the cells in the register and here in each cell either the 1 or 0 can be stored like this okay now what we say about uh, the register we can say if uh, we can have the register of n number of bits this n will define how many cells we do we have in our register if let let's say for example if we have 16 cells we can call our register is a 16 bit register going to the next slide so we know uh, about 16 bit 32 bit uh, register or 64 bit register in nowadays <clears throat> now we see that what does this mean a 16 bit let's say there we have 16 bit register it means that it has 16 cells now if it has 16 cells it means that it can store 16 values which can be 1 or which can be 0 but not both okay so this is called uh, the length of a register 16 bit register and what is the state of a register let's say this is a register and we the values we have stored in this registers are this dummy values so this 110110 this is the state this we call the state state of the register and the output is the interpretation of this state okay 
if we have uh, let assume a smaller number we have a three bit register it means it has three cells in it and the value stored in the register is um, zero one and zero so the state of the register is zero one zero and the data stored in the register is equal to the decimal number which is two base to the power and uh, base to the n okay one and zero is two so the, the state is zero one zero and the information stored in the register is a decimal number which is equal to which is two now let's see a more what we have to uh, see with what we have to uh, study in register how can we, we be assured that uh, this register can store this many values the formula for this is 2 raised to power n minus 1 from 0 to the 2 raised to power n minus 1 if we say we have 8 bit register okay now let n is equal to 8 2 raised to power 8 minus 1 from 0 to 2 raised to power 8 minus 1 i think it will be around let me see so it is 2 raised to power 8 is uh, 256 so how many values this 8 bit register can store it can store up to from 0 to 255 five decimal number okay from this formula 0 to 2 raised to power n minus 1 we can conclude we can know that this register is capable of storing these many values ranging from 0 to this 2 raised to power n minus 1 now another thing we need to know about register is register transfer as we can see the word transfer means of uh, means like to transport something from one place to another place or to uh, transport any signal or any data any bit any binary number from one place to another place so register transfer tells us that things are being exchanged from uh, among different units maybe from a uh, processor to register maybe from one register to another register maybe we need to do something uh, for that we have to make a, a temporary register in which we can store the value of one register then uh, we can process the values then we uh, shift back the values from the temporary register to the original register here i will discuss two examples with you now in this example we have an input unit this is input unit it has three keys a b and c like your keyboard just uh, take it as your keyboard when we press a the value of a in ascii ascii and goes to the uh, register here from here the value is transferred to a processor register this is the register of a process uh, processor it is a very big register so these 8 or these 16 let's say this is 8 bit ascii this 8 bit ascii is copied from here is transferred from here to here now then we press b another copy of ascii from uh, input register input device register to the processor register then we press c we have another copy of 8 bit ascii here for c now uh, assume this thing when we press a the ascii of a the 8 bits for a are stored in the processor register after that when we press b the 8 bit of a which were previously present and in the processor register are shifted at the left side at the msb msb side and when we press c the a and b are shifted uh, to the msb to the left side and c is uh, copied uh, at the lsb of the processor register now from here uh, the a b and c both will go to the memory unit this is a memory unit here we also have uh, registers now 
this will be eight uh, this portion will consist of eight bit for a this portion will consist of eight bit for b and this portion will consist of eight bit for c in this process in this fashion we can store uh, characters we can transfer characters information from input to processor and processor to memory unit we can save a b and c in the memory according to this technique so this memory a portion it can also be called as memory register okay so now we will move uh, uh, towards our other example the last example for our lecture in this example i tell you first uh, the background uh, the brief introduction for this example we have to take two values from the memory unit to from the two registers in the memory unit obviously we have to process that value take a result and store that result back into the memory unit so we can say we have this memory unit we have this register another register and another register okay we this is the register we have to store the value into so these uh, registers has have some values they have some values and they can be any value these values are brought to the processor processor register this is the processor unit okay here this is the second register these values are brought here here is an adder it can be an adder depend on the function we want to have it can be a subtractor it can be a multiplier any combinational logic and the result of this is after being added is stored of both these register is stored here this is another register this is all uh, you can say processor unit so we have an, uh, the result over here now we have to store this result back into the memory for doing this we have seen that we have three registers r1 in the processor unit r2 and r3 r1 uh, register has the value from the register of the memory here memory register memory register and r2 has the value of the memory register uh, 2 this we call memory register 1 this one we call memory register 2 so r2 has a value from the register which is in the memory which is named memory register 2 we add both of these values through any combinational logic digital logic uh, we don't care what is in this plus thing we just know that if the, uh, the plus exists between these two registers if they are connected with the plus sign it means the value these registers contains is being added and after the value is being added uh, from both of these registers we will store that value into another register r3 from here this this value can be passed into this register through any command likewise the the value from these registers came into the these r1 and r2 they are also due to some command okay so the value of this register goes here and the result of the arithmetic computation we have done we have added we can see the result in this register we have here in the memory unit so this is one of the information flow capabilities of a digital uh, system of a digital device we just uh, recall this example information is stored in the register memory register this register was empty before these two registers were occupied they have some information this information is transferred to a processor unit which manipulates this information in this case which basically adds this information and plays the result and in another register which is also present in the processor memory which is named r3 and after the manipulation or arithmetic calculation this result of the register r3 is transferred back into the memory unit so that's uh, it for today hope you like the uh, lecture and if you like uh, if you like my videos do subscribe my channel hit the bell icon press the like icon like button if you like the videos we will meet inshallah in another video allah Hafiz.